Non-Last Click attribution models in Google Ads help you understand your customer's full search journey so that you can drive better performance through data. On a last click attribution model, all conversion credit is given to the last search ad that a customer clicked before converting. This ignores the increasingly complex and multi-touch nature of customer search journeys. Non-last click models attribute credit to all clicks throughout a customer's conversion path on the search and shopping network. Understanding the value of all clicks for search and shopping provides you with the data you need to make informed optimization decisions. There are several attribution models available within Google Ads, five so-called rules-based models, and one data-driven model. Data-driven attribution is the recommended model for all eligible advertisers. Powered by dynamic algorithms, it uses your account data and Google's machine learning capabilities to determine which ads, keywords, and campaigns have the greatest impact on your business goals. To opt into data-driven attribution, your account must have at least 15,000 clicks on Google Search and 600 conversions for a conversion action in the last 30 days. If data-driven isn't available in your account, choose one of the rules-based and multi-touched attribution models. The rules-based models include time decay, linear, and position-based. Time decay gives more credit to clicks that happen to closer in time to the conversion. Linear distributes conversion credit equally across all clicks on the conversion path. Position-based gives 40% of credit to both the first and last clicked ads and corresponding keyword, with the remaining 20% spread out across the other clicks on the path. When choosing your attribution model, think about your marketing objectives. Are you trying to find growth through acquiring new customers? If so, consider the position-based model. Are you currently a market leader or new to the market? Is there low or high competition within your industry? Ensure that your non-last click attribution model best meets your business goals. Attribution models are set at the conversion action level. To switch from a last click to non-last click attribution model, view a conversion action and click Edit Settings. Select Attribution Model and choose from the models in the drop-down menu. Data-driven attribution or one of the rules-based models, linear, time decay, or position-based. The drop-down menu will show all the models your account is eligible for. To benefit from non-last click attribution, it's important to understand how to read the data. The value in your conversion columns will change moving forward as conversions are credited across keywords, ad groups, and campaigns that received clicks along the conversion path. Your performance will not improve until you take action on the new data. After you've switched to a non-last click attribution model, it's important that you look at an appropriate time range when analyzing your Google Ads data. If you only look at the most recent days, it may appear like your conversions are decreasing, but this is a result of customer behavior and your conversion time lag. For example, conversion credit that would only be attributed to Saturday on a last click model is attributed to all of the clicks throughout the conversion path, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday that week. This may appear as a decrease in conversions if you're looking at Saturday's data on Sunday, but as time goes on and more customers convert, Saturday will continue to receive credit for conversions that take place on the following Tuesday and Wednesday. After one or two conversion cycles, the conversion credit for Saturday will normalize. To understand your customer conversion cycle, look at the time lag report to see how many days it takes the average customer to convert after their first click on your ad. This is how many days you should always exclude from your reporting when analyzing performance. For example, if the average conversion time lag is about four days long, analyze days one to 30 from month one on day five of month two. When you switch attribution models, any new conversions will be attributed based on your chosen model in both the All Conversions and Conversions column. Since switching attribution models will not adjust your historical data, you can use the Conversions Current Model column to understand historical performance after an attribution model change. This way you can still compare account performance from month to month or year to year. When comparing time periods before or during the attribution model change, always use the Current Model column. 
For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out Google Ads Tutorials. If you have any questions or for more information, please visit Google Ads Help.